Hola amigos, in this video we're going to go down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, one of our favorite places in the world. We're going to show you a couple surf spots just outside of Puerto Vallarta, a kite spot, and stick around to the end, you'll see why Fernando got his beard shaved. All one could ask is where exactly are we? Welcome to Mexico, man. <laughs> Day one, we head out to find the surf. Having never actually surfed down near Puerto Vallarta, it took a little exploration. Back in Mexi again with none other than Traco. Punta Mita, trying to see the waves, trying to figure out how to get down there. It's looking a little bit small right now. What do you think, Traco? Small is my middle name. Sayulita. Lita is about an hour outside of Puerto Vallarta. Parking can be a challenge. You can see here, we just chose a riverbed, got ourselves set up, and there's plenty of surf shacks to go to. Uh, we timed it a little bit off. You can see here the tide's out, so the waves really, although some people were out there trying to make them work, the waves were pretty small, weren't great. But man, what a cool environment. You can imagine this is a phenomenal place to surf. As always, the people of Mexico are so friendly and enjoyable to be around. This kid, absolute love Traco's dog. dog. <laughs> Traco, we've been defeated again by the elements. Yeah. Here we are, small waves, not a lot there. We did a heck of a job getting ourselves to Sayulita. We just didn't do a great job of getting ourselves on the water with a big enough wave. Yeah, we, uh, what are you gonna do? We took three hours to do a one hour trip. <laughs> All right, yeah. we'll get it next time. Well, we do have my amigo here playing with Walter the dog. Como se llama? Como se llama? Como se llama? Huh? Como se llama? This Cafe El Break does a nice fish taco. We decided after a taco and maybe a beer, we'd head back towards Puna de Mita and see what type of break was there. And boy, were we treated to one of the most beautiful sunsets you can see. We're on the trail. We're on Puta de Mita, Mexico. We're on the trail from the highway to the beach. <laughs> and that is an unfamiliar forest animal. Hola, buenas tardes. Minute hike, breaking out into the opening. Like that. 20 minutes at least. And then Shangri La, baby. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Any last words? Dangerous sport, you might die. Love y'all. <laughs> Let's do this. Get, 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 scoop. Rest assured, Walter was retrieved from the water, but man, look at that sunset. Three of us out there, shoulder high waves. Now, for a little bit of life advice from Trace when you're in a warm climate. You're telling me you have you have something that Half-Life viewers need to know. Well, this probably should go in GQ. Really? Um, yeah, I mean, this is like what every person should know. A powder on the flip-flops that you slide right into is just magnificent. Yeah. So you just get down there and you just, Oh yeah, sprinkle that in there. You do a little wipe it off the foot right there. Put some shoots off from my foot. Slide on in. Bam. Humidity, be gone. I don't even care anymore. 
I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm down with this. Oh I don't know god. if I'm buying into this. Look at this. Oh my god. It just. I feel like. I feel like I got baby's feet right now. Baby's feet. Yeah. Wow. This is perfect. We're gonna let the people of America decide. Yeah. I'll tell you what. EQ. You should drink this. <laughs> What I love about Mexico is the unexpected. We never met these guys before. What a great group of guys and a phenomenal singer. We're here with the bosses. <laughs> los, los patrones. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. You want to surf Puna Namina? It's pretty straightforward. Great break at La Lancha. It's really good. Just drive yourself out from PV, about 45 minutes north, towards Puna Namita. Uh, Wild Mex behind me, surf school, has boards if you need them. No need to travel down. If you're okay with a rental board, just grab one and go. 15 minute walk to down to the beach, not too bad. Puna Namita really has something for everybody. Depending on the conditions, it's great for a beginner uh, as well as an intermediate surfer. Uh, and just a beautiful beach to hang out on. So super mellow day here at Punta de Mita. Uh, this is La Lancha behind me on the left-hand side of the beach. It's more of the beginner zone. Uh, there are some rocks if you go too far to the left that you know you just need to be mindful for at low tide. Um, this is more of the, the beginner zone. And then down here towards these other rocks, uh, it's, a, it's a reef break. So a little bit more advanced, just make sure you know you know how to fall and you know how to ride to do that. Uh, but this beach is beautiful, big waves, no waves. It's a nice place to be. After a day of surf, now it's time for some evening hijinks. Fernando, can we talk a little bit about your beer? I mean, it's a beautiful beer. Thank you, thank you. I ruined myself. So. But tonight, it gets shaved. No no so. I'm sorry about that, because it is fantastic. I could not grow such a glorious beer. But I cannot wait to see the shaving happen. Yeah, everyone's excited about that. I'm happy about it. I'm like a champion. All right. Turns out Fernando lost an arm wrestling contest to Joe. Fernando was such a good sport. Who is this guy? He's like 21 years old now. Are you old enough to work on a car? It's about uh, 20 minutes from Puerto Vallarta. Kiting location, looks like a nice wide open place to launch a kite. Killer Bay to get out there and do it. Uh, kite season starts around February is the time to, to make it happen. Uh, looks like it could be really interesting. Hopefully this video of our experience in Puerto Vallarta helps you plan your trip. It's just 20, 30 minutes outside of Puerto Vallarta. You can get some great places to surf, to kite, and just enjoy the area. The people of Mexico are fantastic. The food is great. The experience is always fun. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hopefully we'll be able to book a trip down to Mexico sometime soon. Take care.
poder mirarme en tus ojos bonitos y vivir la Eres una verga, güero. Y esa va para Paola. Si la escucha. Remangala. <laughs> 